The liberation struggle is our job. Huh. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, we talked a little bit about our allies. Huh. We have to talk a little bit more about our allies. Now, remember I showed y'all this is last week. This is, a, this is a conservative paper from Iraq, right? And uh, they have the whole article. <clears throat> and it's been many like this, but they have the whole cynical, the whole list is on a lecture that we gave to figure out what does America feel about that. When you over there telling all their business, and you are 98% correct historically on everything. You think they like that? No, they don't like it. But ain't nothing they can do about it. Because, see, they got a lot of snitches from America and Iran, too. And a lot of brothers here that's in the movement, they snitches and tattletales. Huh. They got a whole movement. And we have to get up on who they was, too. Yes, of course we did. We've been with them all this time. Okay, so what's the deal? We told the brothers from the Islamic Republic in Denver at the annual conference maybe about two and a half years ago. Huh. And from now on, whatever happens for Iran and the U.S. is our responsibility, not yours anymore. You know why? Because they had given up their responsibility. They was trying to be like some of them are now, bootleggers. Wow. Now, I want to tell you so you'll remember where we're coming from with them. <laughs> Do you remember uh, when they had the original hostage crisis? So-called spy crisis. 1979, 1980, technically, right? Carter went over to Algeria to pick them up. Hmm. He had just, they'd had the inauguration here. And he went over there and picked him up. He's not president anymore. Why did they let him go on the last day? So they worked with some handkerchief-head Iranians, which are big time now. They worked with handkerchief-head Iranians then to hold them people. So it was a collaboration huh. between the handkerchief-head Iranians, which are friends of ours, and America. 